good. So it's just gonna be a sweet food. Can't get it in here. Turn face me. Look at this food. Nice. Hey guys, we're um, with our good friend Tom Provo. We're going fishing with him on a boat. What are we hoping for today? Catch some big fish. This is what I want you to tell Tom. Tom, I don't expect a lot. What I do expect is big fish and lots of them. Numbers. Go okay. tell Tom that. Quantity, not quality. No, we want quality right. and quantity. Oh, that's yeah. all we ask for from Tom. Okay. It's going to be a pretty easy day for the guy if that's all we're asking for. We want big fish and a lot of them. Yeah. Well, I want a million dollars. <laughs> Thomas, what are, what are your thoughts for the day? W well, what's our plan? We got some stuff going on, so we're lucky there. Uh, there's fish in the mid-river riffles right now that seem to be biting pretty good. And the river's come down, the Fall River comes in right above here, and it's come down. So we're able to walk the boat, get out and walk it, and really pound some of these little pockets. And we're going to fish with a dry dropper. At the top part of the river, we're a little deeper, and then we'll shallow up as we go down. But there's some great pockets, and we're gonna get on some of those and probably pull a couple of great big ones. At least Gage will, for sure, because he fishes pretty good. And uh, I've got confidence that he'll do fine. As far as you go, if you can keep a steady hand with the camera, I'll try to net him. That is the plan of attack, guys. We are fishing the Henry's Fork again. What we're actually targeting today is what why I came up today and tomorrow we're gonna be fishing two days is uh, the green drake hatch is supposed to start happening any time. Tom's been seeing a few flying around, but um, green drakes, I, if you guys watched our last trout fishing video, me and Logie Bear were fishing the big salmon flies, which everyone loves to fish the salmon fly hatch because it's just fun to cast out a big bug on top of the water and watch fish eat them. If you talk to the guides up here, they like the salmon fly hatch, but what they like even more is the green drakes because the big, big fish like the green drakes a lot. So I'm seeing some bugs on the water right now. Look like some green drakes coming out, but it's gonna be a fun day. We have two days ahead of us to fish and uh, we're trying to catch, you know, some big ones, but we're trying to have some fun. Mo mo most importantly, lots of fun to be had. Wing away. Sometimes they'll come up and push that back part and they won't get the fly. What are we throwing on top? We're throwing a big doctored up stone fly. Stone fly? Yeah, we got a big one. Are they one. still out and about? They're, they're about. And there's no six year old trout that don't know what they look like too. What, what's so, their thoughts on the green dray catch? Is that gonna be well, happening? Well, I, I, I suspect we'll see some, but I don't think they'll pour off on a sunny bright day. They love the, the cool wet weather. Maybe so, tomorrow. Perhaps tomorrow and for sure Sunday when we get that cold rain front they're calling for so your dad can see when you cast so it's his job to get it out of the way get him Dad's got one on. Throw it back over to the right. Which one is he on? The black one? Yeah. Nope, he's on the... The rainbow? Yeah. Well, you kept missing him, so I figured... The jig? The yellow jig? Yep. Get him. You got him. Lift, lift, keep stripping. Woo-hoo, Gager. Look where the line's going. Pay attention. Hey, keep, okay, now reel like Keep Kel. tension on that rod, buddy. Like Did you get him out? I got him out, Thomas. He's going to try to increase tension, but when he does, you just let him have his head. Keep, oh, you let him, let him yank on it. When it's a short line like that, you have he to let him tip it. up there. He broke bug. your line. He broke your line. He's a great big one. Break you off? Yeah, I broke his line. Gage just got broke off. I've been running the Walmart fluoro and yeah, because I might have tight. to upgrade. You're tight. I it's save money. like two bucks every hundred yards. <laughs> it makes sense, but if, it, if it's going to break. You lose about three fish. Well, that broke, but that fish was a good, pretty good one. Well, we've been floating for about ten minutes. Uh, I landed one fish. Gage had a nice one on and broke him off. That's what happens, huh? Fish on. Easy now. Easy. Okay now, that's right. Keep that tip up. When he pulls it down, you, you decrease your tension. When he pulls it, when you 
when he tip goes up, the fish has decreased tension, and so therefore you increase tension. So it's a little cat and mouse. It's a rainbow. I saw him flash. It looks like a good one. Stick. No pressure, Gage. Take no pressure. Keep that tip high. Oh, don't you give slack. Okay. Keep your hand off that reel. Okay. Now you're going to start leading the tip toward your dad this side of the boat. Start dragging him up the river. Keep going. Yeah! Nice, buddy. Is that what you like? Catching a fish? Yep. All right, well. You're welcome. He's out. Okay. Good Put job, buddy. Look at the net. Watch okay. your hand. Gage is on the board. Gage. Yep. Not too far. Got him. Easy now. Easy, easy. Let him go. Let him take the line. Get all that line for you. Let him out. Okay, keep the tip. Look at the tip. Try to keep it bent. Try to get him on the reel if you can. What you got going on up there, big boy? Okay, easy does it. Let him run. That's right. Keep the tip high. Yeah, he just hooked into another one. Looks like a good fish, huh? Easy, buddy. That's right. Keep that tip high. That's right. He'll tell you when you can reel, because the tip will come up. Keep reeling. Just slow, steady reeling. Yeah. come to it. When he comes to the top, you gotta just sort of let him back down. Keep leading him this way. Keep going. Whoa, there he goes. Easy. Easy. Easy does. There you go now, real Rebel. Anytime you can gain on him like that. Keep reeling. Keep his head up. Keep him coming. You got him. Keep him coming. Keep him coming. Lift. Lift. Yes. Drop him. Great fish, Gager. Good job, buddy. Okay, put him back in here. Jump him. Good job. Buddy. Nice fish, dude. That's a good one. There he goes. Tip, your tip. Well, what's that count now? Gage two, me one. I've uh, lost three fish. I've only got one to the boat. Hey, was that a good time? Was that fun? Mm -hmm. What do you tell Tom? No, you say Tom. That was fun. Let's do that about ten more times. Yeah. That's what you row. tell Tom. In a row. You know, Tom, that was good. That don't was make... more. That was more like what we're looking for. I really enjoyed that right, part of the float so right, far. Right when I told you to cast that part the of the float has been that, the very right? best so far. Okay, that part where you cut. The top that, yes, that. Let's do that again. Oh, there we go. Got to get both shots. He don't want to come in. Hurry up! I got to piss. Let it go in your waiter, bro. Keep some warmer. You got him. Get the net on it. Ouch. <laughs> I've definitely seen better. Net jobs. He went right under the boat, man. That was something. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good one. We will take it. Go be free. Oh yeah. It's gonna be all right. That was a good fish. That's my move when I catch big fish, huh, Tom? Big run. boy Gage on hooked up again. Line. Good fish or what, Gage? That's right. Now let go of it. Now it's real. Real, real, real. Okay. Hold it up higher. There you go. Keep it right at that angle. If he pulls down, you let go of that reel and let him take the line. Otherwise, you just keep steady reeling on him just like you are. Keep going. It looks like a brown. Yeah, well, the way he's moving. Okay, keep steady reeling. That's right. Slide him back over this way. Oh, that's a pretty fish, buddy. Steady, steady. Reel a little more. That's right. He's tired. If he wants to come up alongside you, let him come up that way. That's great. Get him up the river. He doesn't want to now. He's starting to do his thing. Let him go. Let him go. Okay, let that tip up again. There you go. Now he's getting tired. Oh, that's a good fighting. fish. There he sees me, you don't like me. Keep reeling. Get a chip up. Okay, lift him up a little bit. Oh! No! Right before he got to the net. 
He was only about that big. About like that. <laughs> that was a big fish. Sorry, right, you probably bent your hook. Let's take a look at that hook. I've been using these cheaper hooks. Let me see. That okay. was a stallion of a fish. Didn't even bend it. Well, so then it's just the guide's fault at that point. What, what, what type of fish was that, you know? Buttery brown. Did you see him? Mm -hmm. Tom, how big was that fish? It was, you know, about, about like that. I think you just said the last fish you caught, that was the biggest fish you'd ever caught on a fly line. That by far was the biggest fish if you had landed it, you caught. How do you feel about yourself? Terrible. Nope, that's not how you feel. You feel blessed that you had the opportunity to fight PFA. the fish, and now we're gonna catch another one. You have a positive fishing attitude. PFA. Pretty disappointing that you didn't close the deal, but there's some more fish swimming around in here might get one. If you do everything right. Oh, Heartbreaker, that was a good fish. That was an 18. Those are the ones that are at stake right there. 18 to 20 inch brown, they are man. Heartbreakers when Gorgeous you fish. You did good. You fought him real well. You did everything right. Just a little bit of the end. Except for the last part. The guide rushed you, it, and you did really good, good except guy. for the most important part, and that was landing the fish. The closing of the deal. Well, there's another one. Oh. Let him run, let him run. Jeez. <laughs> On run. camera. Gager. Gage is uh, real. determined. Real. Okay. Let's just trying to give him a hard time about losing that big fish, and literally next cast he catches another one. Let the tip go down and let him pull line, but now you can just keep reeling, just steady reeling. Yeah, you never want to yank. I think it's the same much, fish, bro. I'm gonna let him run. Okay. Another good it. fish. It's good. Do what you did last time, just do it yeah. way. Oh! Okay, easy does it. Just steady, easy. You're gonna have to bring him back up when he, when he lets you. You wrapped up in it? You can't stop him. Stop him. You wrapped up. Oh. You wrapped up in it, kiddo. Did you see that? He was all sideways. What oh, do you do God. in that situation? You lose him. Really? Yeah. Let me see. Let me see. Let's take a look at your gear. It was very unfortunate. He somehow wrapped up in that leader. Got all these Not only on did there. you hook one big fish, <laughs> literally next yeah, cast you let you hook into a yeah, second big. Attention. Is that another big brown? He broke everything. He broke everything. He broke the uh, rubber leg, and he broke. I could put bigger strings since you horse him. Hey, um, can I can I try catching one of those? No. Nope. I have to catch it first. He's I have up. to get. Was have that to... another brown? That was bigger than the last one. I mean, not heartbreaking or anything. All we need is for you to land those, take a picture, and let them back go. Let them go back into the wild. This is what we're doing That's it. Here. We're I should have to turn this on. Trying to get some video footage, Gage. It's hard. That, nobody wants to watch it. It's hard for the fish. people at home to keep watching this if you're just going to keep losing them. He'll get better. Who does he remind you of? It takes a lot of practice. It's just like Uncle Brian. Uncle Brian. Mm-hmm. Farming those fish. Uncle Brian farms a lot of fish. I saw it. And I know. Well, I really want you to succeed. I'm going to try to catch a fish. I think there's a school of big 20 inch brown trout sitting right here. What Try do you think? Lion. At least two. At least two. Yeah. What happens is the fish rolled up in the line. Where's the and then he started going down and we couldn't stop him and he just broke everything. Dad's first cast after mine broke. Caught a rainbow. Well, not yet, but we can do a rainbow. You got a gain on him. Gage just missed, had two big giants on. I said, can I fish, Gage? He said, no, wait for me. I cast the first to cast, and look at this fish. Look at this, look at this on him, look at that. Yeah. Stacked up trout, he's fat. That's fat on his head. When look at that head, fish. Holy crap. That thing's a stallion. What does that mean? I've caught some fish That's like that. Fat. He's just been eating. I'm gonna let this bad boy go. Oh, look look at that. Yep. 
Here he goes. Good job, man. Good job. Did you like that? That was fun. People like that one. See, yeah, that's how you uh, that's how you finish the job. That's how you get her done. That's, that's how you finish Here, get the your job. Get your rod so we can get these. Absolute very best part of fishing with Tom. Sandwiches. You know what it is? Sandwiches. It's the sandwich from Grubstick. Guys, if you're ever in Island Park and you're looking for the bomb diggity no, Grub House. Grub House. If they change the name. If you're looking for the bomb diggity, diggity, go to Last Chance in Island Park and go to Grub House and get you one of these sandos. I told Tom everything and I think you got everything. I don't think you got one. <laughs> you even got Brussels sprouts. You want onions? Yeah, I love onions. You don't want tomatoes though. All right, I'll take your tomato. Oh, dude, you better pick that up. Tom will have your butt. Gage has a giant on. On the drive. He a ate a big, big old dry fly. Real fast. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Real hurry. faster. Oh. Okay. You got you gotta stay. You gotta He's running towards you. Time, Bubba. He's running towards you. You gotta Oh, tell me they won't fall in the river. Real like hell. Real. Real like hell. Real. He's right there. Real like hell. Real. Keep reeling, keep reeling, keep reeling. Keep reeling. Okay, okay. Dude. You got him. I got the chips. Here he is. over this way tilt the back toward them the top of the fish there you go face his head into the water dump him down underneath see if he wants to go just kind of coax him does he want to go no okay then keep him now does he want to go there yeah he, goes. he does he wants to go let him go he'll go nice work buddy get it back in there we got to catch another one give good me good job that. gauger is that your biggest get trout the damn on the potato fly rod? chips out of there get the potato chips out Oh my goodness, that was awesome. That was fun, huh? Yeah. That was Gage's biggest fish on a fly rod. It's super solid 18 inch brown. But I can't because I keep having to pull out the camera. Just pulling the bow around pretty much. Just doing 360s in the middle of the river. No big deal. Dang, look at him cruising. Who's got who? <laughs> Okay. Getting owned by the Easy. rainbow. Easy. Look at him go. Lift him up to the left. That's good. You kept him out of there. Nice push. Bye bye. Got him. That's nice. Let's go. I have one request. You have to lose the phrase, let's go. Okay? That's the thing that kids okay. are saying now. It's, yeah. That's it's, what you say when you, something good that. happens. Well, I want to hear you say it more often now. Let's go! <laughs> All right, we have pulled off the river. The river was good to us today. We probably caught, I don't know, 10, 15 fish at least. Uh, Gage, you have fun? That was not a very enthusiastic, yeah. Can I get a let's go? Let's go. What do you guys think? I don't think I'm supposed Scale to. Scale from one to 10, 10 being excited, one being just dead. Where do you think Gage is at right now? A three maybe? Anyway, we are gonna go fish a little creek now, a little tiny creek. But we got to go wade up through there because we're on public right here. This is forest. Um, the river goes through private, but in Idaho, we can stay in the high water mark and walk up the river and fish. So that is what we're going to do. Gage has wading boots on. Guys, those are not women's wading boots, okay? Just kidding. There, They are. Um, all right, let's go. You ready? Tom's getting us all rigged up while I get all this camera stuff put together. I think I have everything. This should be fun. A little further, I need six more feet. There. You didn't see it. I need two more feet further to Damn, the right. Damn, that's a big fish. To the right. Gage just hooked into a sweet fish. Okay, get him in here. Sweet more. fish. Then get the tip going this way. Get the tip going this way, slowly. Leave him like a dog on a, on a leash. Now lift him up. Uh-huh, lift him up. Up, up, up. Now this is a Henry's Lake cut cutthroat. Oh my gosh! And we're is fishing that thing out or below. What? Look at this fish. And he's eating a big dry How fly. How big is that fish, T? Well, that's my. He goes from fish. jeepers creepers. He goes from ten to 
11 and a half. She's 21 and a half inches long. Dang, it's a big it's fish. A big one. Let me get this fly out of him. I made the barbless. That was all on a so big purple churb, dude. Did you see that he passed? You cast beyond him. I didn't him. see him come down. Yeah, I saw him come down. He, he turned when he saw that. We saw thing. this fish out here, and, uh, and we Gage kept casting. We were trying to tell him exactly where, and finally it, he cast right on top of him. The fish turned, swam down the river about 10 yards, and ate it. There you go. That's a little better. Okay. Okay, pick him up. He's big. He's hard to hold. Turn, fish me. Pretty Look darn at this nice fish. fish. Pretty darn nice. All right, well, we got to stay in the river from here on out. So, uh, it's not a bad way to start. Um, not a bad way to start this afternoon fishing trip. Huh? I can see this red thing about that wide. <laughs> so you said, I think I see oh. a pink cheek out there. Yeah, big one. It's a big fish. Nice one. Good job catching him, dude. All right. Dude, watch that fly. It's a slow bite, so you got to give him a count. Give him a one, one thousand, then hit him. Right there. Yes. Yes. Nice. Land that bad boy. That's a nice fish, buddy. Get him in the slow water. Turn his head. Turn his head. Turn his head. Okay, there you go. Grab him. When you grab them, they kind of stop. Wow, he engulfed that one. Yeah. Might need some pliers for that. Well, let him go, bud. Oh. Hey, have you had fun? Yes. Today's been pretty good, huh? Well, I think we're going to end the video that way. What do you think? Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was an absolutely spectacular day. Tomorrow we'll be doing the same thing. I think we're going to go float early, lower section, then come back up here. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. It means the world to us. We appreciate your support. Um, that was probably one of my favorite days I've had fishing with you, buddy. Yeah. Or with anybody, to be honest. Good day. We'll remember the day for a long time. Elbows. All right, guys. We'll see you back here tomorrow doing the same thing. This is truly the ultimate side-by-side, -side, and we are giving it away. For every dollar you spend at GetHushin.com, you'll get one entry to win this fully loaded Can-Am Defender XT plus a trailer. To give you an example, this hat is worth 25 entries. This water bottle is worth 20 entries. Text HUSH VIP to 29071 for SMS updates throughout the giveaway.